Plastic Model Builders, welcome back. This is more the F4C Phantom. This is part two. On the last episode, if you did not catch that, we assembled the entire cockpit, put the little guy in there, did all the instrument panels, all that good stuff. Now, we are going to assemble the fuselage, the front, the top, the side, the back. You know, model making madness. We're gonna make this thing look as pretty as possible because this is a great model. I love doing this one. This is my third one that I've done. So anyway, we are cutting out the fuselage halves right here. As you can see, be careful with it. They got some small little parts on there that you don't want to break off. It's a little difficult. Yes, I'm using this kind of glue. I know I'm told to use the uh, Tamiya, Tamaya, whatever you want to call it. I got some of that. We're going to show you that a little bit later on. By the way, with this video, make sure you watch all of it because there are parts you probably don't want to miss in regards to pre-painting and how to paint this kind of model because it's not the easiest to put together in terms of painting. So we're putting in our little cockpit here. Fits in nice and easy, just like that. So there you go. You see that in there. Let the glue dry a little bit, you know. It is what it is. Hard to do. So here's the other half of this. We are going to put that on once the, uh, the cockpit is dried in there. You see, I'm just showing you basically where to put this glue. It goes all along that top seam right there. It goes along the bottom seam. I actually did this in sections. I just found that easier than putting all the glue together at once. You see, I just glued the top there. Didn't even put it on the tail fin. I wasn't even wasting my time. I just wanted to make this line up properly because, you know, sometimes the do have lines up a little weird so here you go you see I did that top now I'm going around the nose area of this aircraft just like this we're gonna glue that together press that wait to see how that turns out after that we'll glue the underside and the tail so here we go press it together that's how I did that easy enough and you can see how it leaves a little bit of a line that was my model I don't know if yours is going to do the same thing now I got some thicker glue here I didn't care how much I got on this why because you're never going to see this part of the plane I've done enough of these all you do just cover it up I put a couple of dabs in there just to hold it together uh, maybe wrap some tape around there whatever you need to do to make sure this stays I got my little knife in here I'm gonna stick that inside and by doing so I can run my glue all on the inside of this area which is the back tail uh, here's the combination tail hook and back they did it this way kind of unique uh, this area is going to go metallic later on in the build so make sure you see that in different builds coming up I'm sorry different videos so anyway here's some clamps hold it together that's how I did that so we've basically got these let it dry what are we going to do now while that dries you know just some other stuff I got some super glue I put that on the inside and of course don't forget that little tail piece there because I forgot it so make sure you get that anyway clean up the seams use an exacto knife do it how I do it not a big deal I just kind of scratch across going like that. Uh, you might lose a little bit of detail. You can always redo that. So now we got the lower wings and the upper wing portions, fuselage, whatever you want to call it. Do it how you want. So cut those out. We are going to glue these halves on. Make sure you get all the flashing, all that stuff off of them. Might need to sand a little bit. Uh, you know, sometimes you got some stuff from the moldings that's raised, so you just test the fit first. You're always supposed to test the fit. Here we go. You see, I had these little tabs on there. File those down. Don't need those. Get rid of them. Both sides, you know, front, back of the wings. Uh, kind of just go along the edge here. Smooth that out before fitting everything. Put it together. See what it does, what it looks like. All right, so there we go. Now you see we're going to have that little area there. Got to sand that down. Pay attention to that because you don't want that in the middle of the model. That's right there, right inside of the intake. Uh, I got to carve out a little area here. This is so you can fit the bottom properly so it lines up. We do some test fittings. See that? If it doesn't line up right, you're in for it if you already start gluing this ahead of time. So just chopping off a little bit of piece there. So now these are the intakes. Part of them, I guess you could call them the intakes because they certainly go in. They're fins, whatever blades don't care uh, we're going to have to paint part of those white these are the insides of the other intakes this is the way they do this model it's just in weird sections so we're also going to paint those white and then in for the fuselage as well so 
Got a little bit of sanding to do here. You know, these little circles, you might wanna put some filler on there, however you wanna do it, because we are going to put some white in there. This is how I did mine, like I said. Do it yours however you want. I'm not an expert. I just like building models and I'm showing you how I build them. So if it's a tutorial, it's just a tutorial on how I did it. So here we go. You see what I'm painting gloss white here. These are the insides. It could be a pre-painting. You might want to paint more later on when you get the parts glued together or however you want to do it. So that's what it looks like afterwards. You see, I got some masking here. That's to protect so I don't have to scrape away any paint. I'm getting sick of doing that. Painting gloss white in there. I do use the uh, Tamiya colors because they work out really well, they dry fast, and they come out a wonderful sharp white, gloss white, that they don't yellow very much. Here we go, just another coat on these, the insides of the intakes, and here's the other part of the intake. So we will let those dry. We have our upper wings, so we are going to attach these to that lower portion. You don't have to put a lot of glue on here. You just see it goes along those edges. You've got those three little uh, inserts right there, and then along this edge right here. Uh, that other area stays blank, and then just go around right here. This is the wheel well. So go around that, do the same thing, using my uh, little paint stick, of course. I'm not good with this glue. I just doesn't work well for me so we're going to try some other stuff coming later on not this plane not the next plane or the plane after that by the way those next planes that I've got working out are very nice looking planes and long forgotten ones but they're really cool to have so anyway that's one half here is the other side so once these are dry of course join both of them together see where to put the glue basically along the back there one along that edge and then of course on the wing you want that wing to join very well good make it look pretty of course anywho so here you see me going around the other side of that where i get all the glue in there like i said it goes on the bottom and it also goes all along that wing so we're going to put that on there then we are going to get our top section and put that on but we do have to put a little bit more glue on you see it goes right around the intakes right there and around that front and it kind of goes right along the sides and we'll press that firmly um you see it's got those little notches there not notches i guess race portions from the mold don't worry about those they won't affect anything at all get the back and the rear so you kind of just place this on there uh, squeeze the model together a little bit and they pop right in make sure you hold the back in so everything stays glued you see a little bit of uh, work you have to do there so while that dries uh, just gonna you know cut out some fuel tanks some bombs and some wheels assemble those you know time management so we're cutting these out you see this is two fuel tanks right here they already have the um, what you call them on there, the pylons, some pods. This thing comes fully armed. Probably one of the better models. It even comes with two pilots. I only did one because the other pilot, as you can see, is standing up and I just wasn't all about that. So here are the wheels. Cutting out all the wheels, we're going to do those. Cutting out the gun right here is just a canister just loaded with stuff. So there we go. We will assemble these. By the way, did I mention loaded with armor? Look at all this. I don't even know if I put all these things on there or not, but we're gonna put them together for you. So here we have the gun. You can paint that tip of that if you want. You know, that gets filled with stuff. So put the glue on both halves. Uh, you're gonna have a little work to do, at least I did right here. So cut off that flashing that's left over. Make sure that groove in as well that sits the uh, round part of the gun. Make sure it's good and it just sits in there really well. So here, put these two halves together. There we go. One of them's done. Here are some other little halves. I just use my putty. You know, it holds things together rather nicely. And I just run the glue all over it. I make a big mess, even with the liquid stuff. And I don't care. So there. That's done. Here we go. Another pod. I don't know the names of all these things. So please bear with me and forgive me. 
By the way, I hope you've learned something from watching this video with regards to how to paint at least part of this so far. The next videos, they're going to cover a lot more painting and this model gets a nice camouflage, gets three different greens, actually two greens and a tan color. So that's coming up, so I can't wait to show you that. It's basically going to be the next video series, you know, because that's pretty much all that's left in landing gear. So here we go the rear wheels. Two halves, slap them together, make them look pretty. Anyway, coming up, I want you to thank you for watching this video. So don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. You see me painting the green there. Got that a little thick, but two different types of green. Putting in some landing gear. Painting the underside of this. I did two different colors. Didn't like the first one, so we're doing the second one. Put on some decals and that model will be done in who knows how long, right? But there it is. Anyway, subscribe, comment, and like. Until next time, see ya!